What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo, and this is week seven of season four of the GBA. We are going up against the Long Island Reggie Rockies and their coach, Drew, aka Nips. And this is going to be a really fun game. It's also going to be a really big make or break game for both of us. Uh, he is, I believe, one and five. I'm two and four. I would love to be three and four, start kind of chasing down Hank. Uh, Hank is currently leading the wild card division spot and Nips in the same conference as him is desperate to get a win. So it's gonna be it's gonna be a really important match for us. It's gonna be a really interesting match for us. I'm going a pretty offensive route. If you guys are curious about my team, go check it out in the uh, locker room video that went up right before this. So I'm setting the challenge now. Nips just sent me a message on Skype, said he's good to go. So uh, we're gonna get into this as soon as he accepts the battle. So uh, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Who did he bring? Please tell me he didn't bring Snorlax. I really hope he didn't. He did not bring Snorlax. This is huge. He brought Cabalion. That's an interesting pick. And also he brought... <laughs> Nips is so unpredictable, guys. Uh, Blaziken does not do well against my team. Almost every Pokemon on my entire team one-hit KOs it. So uh, looking at his team, I'm seeing a potential for... Hazards uh, and those are all hazard setters and potential leads. He might really want to get his uh, Rocks up with that guy. So the question is who do I have to take out the Quag Sire and the Roserade early on and Scizor can one hit KO the Roserade, but we'll get out sped and if he packs in power fire I'll get one hit KO. So I don't want to do that uh, a good Quag Sire counter I have is Mesprit uh, who can also do a lot of damage to Roserade. One hit KO with with uh, with Psychic. Uh, can it handle Cabalion though? No, it cannot. But it could U-turn out if it's Cabalion, and then I could get some uh, get some pressure going on that way. So I'm going to say, you know, Fox would also do a good number to a lot of them. And Fox is good to get in in case they haven't already set Stealth Rocks. But you know what? I'm going to go with Two Chains here. I think Two Chains is a good lead. It bluffs that I'm going for Stealth Rocks while he's going for Stealth Rocks. He's going to lead with Alakazam. So I'm Scarfed and I'm going to outspeed him. And uh, if I get that U turn off, I can go straight into Bunny Soar. Uh, I predict that he's probably going to want to go for like a Shadow Ball or something. And I predict that he is. I think he's Focus Sash. So let's just go for the U turn here. We'll see what he's got. I'm going to get the U-turn off. He's actually a little more bulky than I thought. That didn't do as much damage as I anticipated. Uh, I could go into Bunny Sword here and take basically anything he's got. Alakazam versus Bunny Sword. The matchup is that if he has Psy Shock, he can two-hit KO me. If he has Psychic, he cannot. Uh, if he has Shadow Ball, it's only going to do like 11%. Um, so let's do that. I could also go into Proto and then finish him off with a Bullet Punch. But like I said, I got to play... I gotta play safe with Proto. So let's go into Bunny Soar. He's a safe switch for me. Um, we'll see what Alakazam was going for. Maybe he was Magic Bounce or something? I'm not sure. He does go for the Shadow Ball there. So that was a that was an okay prediction on my part. We're gonna try and finish this guy off with uh, a coverage move that hits a lot of his team really well. And I think the best way for me to do that is Ice Beam. Especially because... Uh, no, you know what? He hasn't Mega Evolved yet. Draco is going to wreck shop on anyone on his entire team if he switches. Anyone on his team if he switches. Um, I could predict the Psy Shock here, and maybe it's a good idea to do that. Because one thing he's not going to do is go for a Fire type attack. So I could switch in Proto and finish him off with a Bullet Punch. But he has a lot of really good switches for that. That would just be too much switching for no reason. Ice Beam hits a lot of his team really hard. Earthquake is best for a couple of these Pokemon. Best for him, it will kill him, it's the best attack against him, it won't affect him, and it won't do okay. So, Ice Beam I think is the safest. We're gonna go for an Ice Beam here. Let's see if he's packing the Psy Shock with a Psychic. He's gonna switch out actually and go into Cabalion as I go for the Ice Beam. I get a crit, and I get a free- Wow! Wow! Wow, 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 what? A crit freeze, guys. A crit freeze. Are you kidding me with this? A crit freeze. 
part of me wants to just switch into GLaDOS and start trying to set up Dragon Dances. He didn't bring Mandibuzz, guys. He didn't bring Mandibuzz to this match. My word. Okay, um... <laughs> oh, that changes things. Uh, let's see. Cabalion. I can Earthquake him for 40%. I really don't see what he's got for me. Um... I really don't see what he's got. He's going to outspeed me, so if he opts to switch here, GLaDOS can get the uh, minus one off on him. And I can start doing Dragon Dances or something. I could take poten I could take advantage of this here. I could also go two chains, kind of see what he's doing there, and then scout with that U-turn again. I go for the Earthquake. Let's, uh, let's go Earthquake here. He might sack off a Cabalion. He's going to stay in and he's frozen solid. I get another crit on the Cabalion and the Earthquake takes him down to 15%. At this point, he's pretty much just fodder. He's pretty much just fodder. I could really take advantage of this freeze though. Do I want to do that? Do I want to just sweep with GLaDOS right now? He's going to get a free switch in on Bunny Soar after this. And he didn't bring Hallucha. His entire team is, is a mystery to me. This guy, too good. Ah, could I... No, because you know what? He's probably got... He's probably got... You know, I have to finish him off. No, stop. Do not go for Earthquake. Shoot, he thawed out. He went for Reflect. He raised his entire team's defense with Reflect. Shoot. Mm. Well, you know what? He stayed in, so that's, that's the important thing here. Um, he's seen Ice Beam and Earthquake. He managed to get the Reflect up. He's going for Screens here. Uh, I don't have Brick Break on Scizor. That might have been a good idea. But, okay. So, we're taking a, a quick 6-5 to five lead here against Nips. He's got Reflect up on his team. I've got a lot of special attackers here. Uh, I'm going to have to kind of use them. He's got something for this Bunny Sword. And if he comes in with Mega Altaria right now, which he did. Which he did. If he's a physical set and he goes for Dragon Dance, I very, very seriously have a chance of having lost this match. Um, because he will outspeed everything. Bullet Punch is a chance to kill, but not a guarantee. Uh, I could potentially outspeed based on his investment with Mesprit. I really think he's physical. I really think he's physical, and I really think he's going for an attack right now. I could go into GLaDOS. Based on whether he's a special set or a physical set. If, he, if I switch into GLaDOS and he goes for Hyper Voice, I lose 50% of my health. If he goes for a Return, I lose about 50% of my health also. Um, and then I can Ice Fang him when he's Mega Evolved. He's behind a screen though, I need to remember that. He's behind a screen, so Bullet Punch will not kill him. Moltres uh, can do a good amount with Air Slash. Mesprit can do a good amount with Ice Beam. I think I just need to start putting in the hurt on this Altaria. He's, yeah, I can't let him set up. If he's physical, I can't let him set up. He might be able to take me out here. He's gonna Mega Evolve. He's gonna go for Hyper Voice, which does not take me out. I'm gonna go for Ice Beam, which does a good amount to him, a 50%. So now, if he's gonna go for another Hyper Voice, I could switch into Fox, who's gonna eat that up. Fox won't take a lot from it. He still doesn't have rocks up. A Hyper Voice will hit Fox for 33 to 39. And I can finish him off at 46% with an air slash. I'm assuming, based on how much that ice beam did, 64 to 76% is uninvested. So he is invested in uh, in some form of defenses, a little bit. Bunny Soar may have seen his last. I don't need him. Need him here. He's invested though. This is a problem. He's gonna go for another hyper voice. So, I could switch into Proto and keep Bunny Sore around, but what is the purpose? What's the purpose of keeping Bunny Sore around? Potential answer to Roserade. 
Let's go for the ice beam again. He's gonna go he's gonna kill Bunny Sword if I don't switch. He's gonna kill him. But Fox Fox can't take a Draco or a Dragon Pulse very well. I think I have to lose Bunny Sword here. It's unfortunate. That's what happens when uh when Bunny Sword kills things. Uh there's good answers to it. So I gotta go for Ice Beam here. I gotta let Bunny Sword go down. He's going to go for Hyper Voice. I knew it was coming, but, it, you know, I I can't risk sending another Pokemon and then risk losing uh, risk losing him there. So, two chains can come in, probably take a hit, and go for the Ice Beam twice. Uh, Fox could come in and try and go for Hacks. We're going to go for Ice Beam on uh, Mesprit here. The problem with hyper offensive teams with not a lot of bulk is that uh, it does definitely put the hurt on me if I if I take someone out with one of my more bulky Pokemon like Gudra. I didn't want him to be the one that got the kill because he's a good switch in option, but it kind of needed to happen. So we're gonna go for an Ice Beam here. Um, he could potentially switch out, and that's okay. But I, I can't just let him stay in here. Altari in all over my face. He's gonna switch into Quag Sires. I go for the Ice Beam. That does 39%. Um, he could get Rocks up right now. What I kind of want to do, because if he's getting Rocks up, Fox maybe, but he's. Ah, oh, Bunny Sword's such a good switch in for Quag Sire. Um, Viral has Hidden Power Grass, but I don't want to get burned. I don't want to take a, take damage for no reason. I think he's going for rocks, though. I really do. What I could do is go Proto. No. He goes rocks as I go into Electivire. I outspeed and go for Hidden Power Grass. But how much did that do? 39%? Uh... Would two more kill him after leftovers? Let's go for it again as he goes for rocks. 41%, so I think I'll kill him. He does go for recover that turn. So he's opting for the recover. He'll probably go for rocks now. Eighty-three. Is that still a range that I'll kill him with Electivire? Electivire HP Grass is 82 to 98, so if he goes for Recover, if he goes for Recover, that's uh, that's not good. So U-Turn might have been a better move there. What can I do, guys? Um, Fox can come in, and Fox against the Quagsire, what I would do... Man... Kind of regretting taking off HP Grass, but I could go for Air Slash, which will do definitely a two-hit KO on him. Um, whereas a Scald only does about 54% to me. I could switch into Viral, bait the Earthquake, and then I get a definite free switch into Fox. I could go Gyarados here and roar him out, but I don't really need to do that. Um, now here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to double switch. I'm going to switch into Viral. No, that's so risky. Viral does so much work to his team. Because here's what, I, here's what I'm thinking. If I go into Viral, I bait the Earthquake, I can switch back into 2 Chains and go for the Energy Ball. Let's go... Uh... That's so risky, though. That's so risky. So risky. Um... Let's go GLaDOS. I've selected my move. It looks like uh, Nips is taking a long time to consider this also. So I get the uh, attack drop as he switches out into Blaziken. So I am okay with this. Unless Blaziken learns... Does Bla Guys, does Blaziken learn Thunder Punch? I'm sure many of you know. I'm sure almost all of you know, but I don't. Blaziken... Do you learn Thunder Punch?
He does learn Thunder Punch. Do I predict he has it and go to viral right now? What else would he go for? He wouldn't go for fighting because I resist. He wouldn't go for fire. He might go for a setup. If he's set up, that means he's not scarfed, which means I outspeed him and I'll one hit KO him. I'm going into viral here. This could be a huge, 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 huge mistake. So he's gonna go for Thunder Punch and I get the plus one speed. That's it, baby. Yes, yes. Motor drive activated, baby. Here we go. Okay. Oh, yes, with that prediction. Okay, Blaziken. Dan uh, just mentioned, Dan is actually in the battle watching, watching live. So switch in on that. Electivire, how am I gonna one hit KO Blaziken? Earthquake will one hit KO Blaziken. Um, I think, Quag Sire is a good potential switching. Oh no, he's still behind the screen though. He's still behind the screen. Yeah, someone <laughs> trying to talk in chat. Um, I really think he's Scarfed. He's brought Scarf Blaziken in the past. Uh, he no longer has any flying types now that Mega Altaria is the way that he is. I'm going to go for the Earthquake. We're going to see whether or not Blaziken is locked in here. Hank the Pidgey is also joined. He's going to survive that. What's he got? Uh, Flamethrower. He has a... Wow! And he gets a crit now. He was Life Orb and he got a crit. Oh my word. Oh my word. Not bad, Blaziken. He's a mixed Blaziken set. Shoot. Next blaze again, not bad. But that means I outspeed with Fox. So I can start pumping out air slashes. So let's do that. Man, I'm mad. Ugh, that crit totally mattered. Um, air slash hits everyone on his team super effective except well no it doesn't it only hits two things super effective but so does flamethrower flamethrower only hits one thing super effective we're going for air slash hopefully we don't miss uh i'm gonna outspeed this blaze again i think if he's jolly max invested he might actually outspeed me shoot that crit mattered so much to be fair i got a freeze hacks crit on him as he was trying to set up screens which was smart move on his part i can't complain about the hacks it's just unfortunate because I think that I think that motor drive speed boost won me the game. I really honestly did. I think it did. He goes for Thunder Punch. It's super effective. Uh, and he'll go down to Air Slash here. So uh, Alakazam is still around. And I no longer have a safe switch in for him. So he was, he was timid or jolly. And that ended up costing me a lot. Stop. <laughs> Skype chat is blowing up. A lot of the uh, a lot of the fellow people are in here. I'm actually feeling a lot less comfortable about this match now. I still have Scizor to help kind of clean up a little bit, but this Quag Sire is still around, and I need to do something about that. Alakazam could come in here, and he'll outspeed me and take out Fox. Who do I need Fox for? Gyarados is kind of... I can get rid of Gyarados at this point. He doesn't really do a whole lot for me. He was an answer to some Pokemon that he didn't end up bringing. He didn't bring Halucha. There's Alakazam. Um, I think I go GLaDOS here. Um, I let GLaDOS go down, or if I if it's not a two-hit KO, then I go for the I go for the Earthquake. And uh, then I can come with two chains and finish him off with a U-turn. And I can go into someone based on that, but I can't let Fox go down just yet. Not just yet. So let's go into GLaDOS. As he goes for Shadow Ball, doesn't do that much. Gets a special D drop though, which is unfortunate. Um, I could go into two chains now, but that's not really advisable. 
My best bet is honestly to just go for this earthquake here. <sighs> Here's the thought process. With the special D drop, a psychic will take me out, but it won't take out two chains. You can come in and U-turn with impunity and get that kill off. He's either going for psychic or thunderbolt. Um, Mesprit versus Alakazam. Uh, he could go for the shadow ball again, but why would he? I don't think he would do that. And uh, Psychic hits me for about 30%, Focus Blast hits me for something like that. Let's go into two chains here, predicting the Psychic. He's still thinking. I can keep GLaDOS around, that's the only reason I'm thinking about this. Um, he's a... He has something to do against some of the other Pokemon on his team. Not a whole lot, but something. Two chains comes in as he goes for Hidden Power. Looks like Hidden Power Electric, I'm guessing. Maybe maybe Grass? I don't know. But uh, now with the Outspeed U-Turn, I can take either kill this Alakazam or... Um, <laughs> I need to silence this Skype chat. It's just going to be going off non-stop. So, okay. Does he let Alakazam go down for a free switch right now? Two chains going to outspeed. He go into Quagsire. Man, I lost a huge Quagsire answer having lost both Gudra and Electivire though. Uh, two chains is mandatory now. Two chains became my win condition. I need him for his uh, energy ball. I can't be making these dangerous plays anymore. He's still thinking about what he's going to do here. Man, that flamethrower crit. Uh, that's okay. That's okay. This match could have gone a lot differently if I hadn't gotten that freeze. Uh, Quagsire comes in as I go for the U-turn. There's the crit. At 67%, Moltres can uh, air slash and potentially kill. And Moltres... He's still sitting on that... Uh, on that Roserade, which makes me think that it's... It could potentially be Scarfed. Which would mean it outspeeds two chains. <laughs> There's stuff going on in chat, but uh, I can't really respond to it at the moment. How much does Scald do? More than 50% sometimes? I could start going for Roosts here and try and get Moltres healthy again. I could go for the kill here, but I don't think I'll get it. But he's just going to start recovering if I don't. I have a roll that would kill him. I do have a roll that would kill him. Um, it'd be great if Quagsire went down. It'd be really fantastic. What's he go for here? If he goes for Stealth Rocks and I get a Roost up, then I'm in a potential to two-hit KO him. Air Slash, you get a, a flinch though. Let's go for the Air Slash here. He'll probably go for the Scald, and uh, Fox will go down if he does. He's actually going to switch into Altaria and take that Air Slash to the face. Um, that worked out very well for me. That worked out so well for me. My goodness. What did he think I was going to go for? Hidden Power Grass? Hidden Power Grass, he was predicting the HP Grass, but I would have outsped anyway. I could have still gone for him. Man. So we're down four to two. Oh, man. Nyx is so hard to predict. Alakazam comes in. Um, he's going to outspeed me, and anything he does will kill me. Just anything he does will kill me. Um, I could go into GLaDOS again. I mean, like, honestly, what do I need GLaDOS for? Is Fox more important? Fox has the potential to be an answer to Quagsire. Fox has the potential to be an answer to him. Gyarados will be outsped by everyone except Quagsire who walls him. I don't need Gyarados. I don't need him. I do not need Gyarados. I'm going to switch into Gyarados. As he goes for Shadow Ball again. 
Um, now we know he has the hidden power electric. Or maybe it's hidden power rock, I'm not sure. I could switch into Proto. Go for a bullet punch, but then he'd switch into Quagsire. Do I still what do I still need Proto for? Bullet punch on the Roserade. U-turn would one hit KO the Roserade. Bullet punch has a chance to, uh, but hidden power fire will one hit KO me in return. So that's good damage on the Roserade. Um, then I would outspeed him potentially with two chains. The thing is, it wouldn't have been HP fire. That's the one thing he doesn't have. Um, I can't, I just, I think I just gotta stay in with GLaDOS and let him go down. I really just, I don't need anything else. I don't need anything else. I'm gonna go for, if by some miracle he doesn't kill me, I'm gonna go for the Dragon Dance here. He's gonna switch on my D-Dance. He's gonna switch on my D-Dance. I'm at plus one. What does that mean? I didn't do this calc. I never saw this as a potential possibility. It doesn't do a lot. Uh, but Scald does like nothing to me. So I could keep boosting. Plus two. Oh, he might be unaware. I didn't even consider that. He might be unaware. But I think, I think he's probably not. The way he switched in on that, I feel like he's probably not. Plus two. Uh, let's go again. We're gonna go again. He's gonna go for Scald. He might get the burn, and that'd be unfortunate. Let's we'll see. We'll play it. We'll play it after that. It's resisted. No burn. No burn. No burn. Okay. I have the potential to have won the game here, but Earthquake is not. I don't think a guaranteed to hit KO, but it might be. Let's uh. Let's get it. I think. Is now the time I pull the trigger, guys? What do you guys think? Is now the, is now the time I pull the trigger? He could be unaware. Earthquake. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna start going for earthquakes. I'm gonna hope he doesn't get the burn on GLaDOS. Wow, that does nothing. He's unaware. That is an unaware quag, sire. Um, so then let's start going for Ice Fang, Freeze, Crit, Flinch, Hacks. He's eventually going to get this burn. I mean, this is my one chance to get this up. I could, I just gotta go. He's gonna go for the recover there. We're gonna keep going for those flinch or freeze hacks. We will eventually get them. He will eventually get the burn. I have leftovers, so this is gonna be a little bit of a stall out here. Looking for a freeze or flinch. Please, no burn yet. There's the burn. So it has arrived. Burn has arrived. You know what? I switched GLaDOS in here with the intention of him dying. So let's just keep going for this. Damn it, guys. Sorry about the... Uh... We're going to keep going for these hacks. Uh, I think what he might be calcing is whether or not an Ice Fang will kill Roserade. He's gonna stay in. Eventually I'm gonna get a, French, a flinch or a, a freeze. Eventually, guys. Uh, eventually. Unaware Quagsire was a good bring. Um, I thought he was gonna be bringing Water Absorb Quagsire, but uh, he didn't. 
So here's what we're gonna do. I'm going to, uh, sorry for all these beeps in the background and for all the noise, guys, but uh, it happens. He's gonna go for the Scald as I go for the Roar. And now Roserade comes in. And what I can do here I could switch into Fox as I predict that he'll switch into Quagsire. And that gives me the option to air slash him and uh, potentially kill him, or at the very least bring him down to a range where two chains will kill him. So let's, uh, let's switch into Fox now. He's going to stay in and go for Sludge Bomb. I could have killed him. I could have completely killed that guy. Okay, does Mesprit kill you? Fuck, why didn't I just stay in and go for the Ice Fang? Uh, Psychic kills if he's not especially defensive. Sludge Bomb, he could be locked into. If he's Scarfed, I don't know what he is. I cannot lose two chains. But, at this point, if he's Scarfed, he might have the win. I could scout for sc well, okay, if he's Scarfed, and I go into two chains, and he outspeeds me, he goes for a Sludge Bomb, which, um, has a chance to kill me? No, it doesn't. It doesn't have a chance to kill me if he's Scarfed. If he's Scarfed, it won't kill me. Um, if he has Leaf Storm, then he's not going to be able to go for it. I can go for a U-turn, which won't kill him. It won't actually do that much at all, but... I could go for a Psychic. Go for Psychic with two chains. Go for Proto and go for the potential one-hit KO with Bullet Punch. It's a potential, it's not a guarantee. Bullet Punch would be nice for Alakazam, but two chains is nicer. So let's go into let's go into this gentleman here. We're gonna see right now whether or not he's Should I just go for the U-turn then? I mean, no. If he switches out, he's gonna switch into Quagsire. There's the Quagsire switch. There's a crit. Switching to Gyarados here. Gyar needs to go down, because I need a safe switch in here. I need a safe switch into, um... He's, gonna pl he's playing this Quagsire really well. I didn't think it was going to be a problem because I had so much to do with it, but then by uh, unfortunate hacks, my problem, my answers to it went down, so... He's probably going to go for a recover here. So let's go for it. One final attempt at freeze. One final attempt. He's gonna go for recover, he's at full health. And now Mesprit's turn to come in an energy ball. Which Roserade could take well. Man, he might have it. But, could I kill him in two hits with Psychic? Would Psychic be a two hit KO on Quagsire? Uh, it's a chance after leftover recovery. It's a chance. So it might actually be the better move. Energy Ball will kill him, but if he switches into Roserade, then that's a problem. If he switches into Roserade and I went for Energy Ball,
The game is afoot, Nips. If I go for Energy Ball, your Quagsire dies. And then I'm locked into it. As Roserade comes in. If I go for Psychic, I kill Roserade and two hit KO you. Let's go for Psychic. He's gotta fear the energy ball, right? 52%, he goes for a Scald. No burn. No burn. No burn. Going for another Psychic. Eventually we've got the attack drop. He can recover spam here, but I think... I think the fact that he didn't get a burn there, and then I get a crit. Okay, I think this might be game. We're gonna have to see about this Roserade. We're gonna have to see if this is a Scarf Roserade. If it is, it comes down to the question of whether or not Bullet Punch Scissor one hit KOs. I'm asking in chat, is it Scarfed? Let's play everyone. <laughs> Favorite game? Is it scarfed? <laughs> is it scarfed? If it is, he has to pick a move to try and kill me right now. It can't be poison and it can't be grass. It can't be poison and it can't be grass. It's gotta be an attack that kills two chains in one hit and also, it needs to kill Scizor, who otherwise... If I get any damage on this Roserade, any at all, I mean, Psychic will kill it. But if I get an attack off, then I'm guaranteed to one-hit KO with Bullet Punch, and it's game over. Yeah, I had to go for Psychic. I'm glad I made that choice. If I'd gone for Energy Ball and killed him in one hit, then Roserade would have come in... I guess I still would have been fine, even if it's very, very minor damage, four times resisted damage, it still would put him in KO range too. So actually, I guess it didn't really change anything. He has Hidden Power, he's going for the Hidden Power Fire, hoping it kills. The Psychic kills. Two Chains has got a mini sweep here, boys and girls. Oh my goodness, I think I got this. Because we've seen that I outspeed the, uh, the Alakazam. We're going to see whether or not Psychic kills. If it doesn't, then Scizor comes in and bullet punches for the win here, guys. I think... This is it. I think this is it. Do it, Nips. Bring him in, baby. Bring him in. Bring him in. Mini sweep, two chains? Mini sweep? Or does Scizor get another kill this week? It kills and two chains with the mini sweep, and I pull a win out on the new. Oh my god. The Long Island Reggie Rockies go down. I take a third win, a 2-0. Nips, that was an incredible match. You completely just annihilated my predictions of your team. I really like that. I'm sorry that it was so haxy. I got a crit where it mattered. I got a freeze where it mattered. You got a crit where it mattered. It was a very haxy match. Incredible battle, buddy. And guys, I really cannot stress this enough. Go check out Nips because Salty Runback Saturdays is probably the greatest series on YouTube if you like Poketubers. So... Whew, so happy. So now the Giantes are three and four. We're keeping our pursuit train on that Hank the Pidgey alive, guys. I'm not going to say anything about any results from the other games. I don't actually know them myself because I haven't checked yet. Um, please go check out Nips and check out the GBA. I will have links to all of those things in the annotation down below. As always, my name is Jim Leader Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you guys next time.